you just want to quickly take us through what happened today? Well, from about 30k to go, there was a break that I was going in ones and twos, and I decided to try and join it. And there was about six of us working hard to get to it. And we got to it just before the last KOM of the day. And it was similar to yesterday's break, but only we were working hard, all of us. And the gap went up quite quickly then for the bottom of the tumble. Going out into the open, up past the castle grid, I attacked. I, didn't, I wasn't really sure how far I was from the finish, so I, I thought I was quite close, but it turns out I wasn't, so I was just trying to hang on as much as I could to the line. You uh, sponsored the jerseys at the NFTO Junior Tour of Wales. Why do you think it's an important race for you to be involved with? Uh, the, the, obviously, the Tour of Wales is uh, important because it's a junior uh, tour. Uh, we've been involved for a number of years now um, and since our first involvement we've seen the race grow so big and uh, for us development of riders is really important so just to put something back into that and help grow this, uh, this fantastic tour is really important for us from that aspect. Um, it also means that we can use our own team to, to develop and, and take part in it. Do you see the Junior Tour of Wales as an important event for junior riders? Oh yeah, it's, um, it's, for us it's the biggest one on the calendar. Uh, our, our development programme, uh, we have the junior uh, VC UK PH Mass racing team. Um, so for them it is the biggest target of the year. Um, it, it exposes them to a proper tour um, and not just a single day race. Uh, we've always been really successful here and this year we've had a really good race again. Um, and hopefully we'll be back next year again to, to contest the win. What do you think of the, the team's uh, performance over this weekend? Oh yeah, it's been uh, really good. Uh, I say Rob Scott's done really well. He's taken his first national uh, win. Um, he's, you know, different from other riders in that he's, he's a lot heavier and a bit more of a sprint and on all round strong rider. Um, yeah, next year we've got uh, Rob will still be second year junior next year. Uh, we've got Adam Early as well the second year. So we're going to build on the team, um, bring them all back again, and uh, hopefully. The experience they've gained from this year will, will uh, lead them in good stead and we can, we can do something with them. And what's next for Champion Systems and, and the team over the next 12 months? Uh, yeah, I think, uh, like I say, we, we've just, we launched uh, VCUK as a club, so you can join, anybody can join it and then we have a, a pathway for development. Uh, we've now grown that to a few hundred members, so it's great to see the support from the general public um, and that from, from that means that we can then put more money into, into developing uh, British riders. So for us, uh, we just continue to grow that. Um, the juniors, you know, is a real transition. So some will go maybe to the academy, some will ideally stay with us and then we can help them progress. Um, if we can maybe move the senior team to, you know, Continental Pro next year, then that'll be a good step for us. Uh, but, you know, it really is just giving that, that pathway so Riders don't have to think every year where they need to go to and they can relax a bit more about finding a team. So, you know, it is all about, VCK is about being part of something bigger, whether you just started riding or, you, you know, you get an Olympic gold medal. You know, so it's, yeah, it's, you know, it takes the pressure off riders and makes them enjoy it more. And we tend to find that by doing that, the, the riders ride better and uh, get, get the results.